We're diving into some aluminum ingot projects we've been working on at the yard, and we're going to show you how we ended up in the mess that you just saw. At our yard, Rockaway Recycling, we teamed up with our good friend Danny. He's geared up in full protective wear and firing up the kiln for a full day of melting. We've got a few unique molds that we wanted to test out as well. We started with some aluminum turnings that we received at the yard. Since we don't have a shredder on site, all of these were brought in by a customer. Pouring the aluminum into this coin mold took some patience. You can actually see some of the mess we made on the brick leading up to it. Once we cooled it off in the water, you can finally see our American flag coin design coming through clearly. Next up, we tried melting some aluminum heat sinks. These you can typically find in servers, computers, old power supplies, and other electronic scrap. You might notice little bits of copper tubing coming out the top of these heat sinks, and we think this is where things started to go sideways. We are total beginners when it comes to ingot making, so we love your feedback on what we did wrong in the comments. Yep, so those heat sinks exploded on us. We think the reaction may have been from the nitrogen that was trapped inside them. If anyone knows more about this, drop your thoughts below and help us learn. After giving it a good stir, we went for another pour. This actually turned out a fair bit smoother than our copper video, which you can see here. While melting down metals into ingots is fun, we typically don't recommend doing it if you're trying to maximize your scrap profits. Most yards won't accept homemade ingots, and we always recommend bringing in clean, separated materials as is. It'll save you time and money. Here's a look at our finished ingot and Danny featuring his Butterfingers. Want to see us melt more scrap or test different ingots or molds? Drop your ideas in the comments and let us know. If you're new to the channel, hit the like and subscribe button to catch more videos on scrap metal, market updates, and real tips from our yard.